Thanks for joining us guys and welcome to the Power Platform in real life. Last video we saw the build pipeline working with solutions. So now let's take a look at it when it's working with data. As we already know, this is a follow up on the part one video. If you haven't seen that yet, have a look. It shows everything we'll build together. How does the build pipeline work with data? In a nutshell, a lot similar of how it works with solutions. The main difference is that it starts from the data schema file. If you ever had to move data between environments in Dynamics 365, you are familiar with the configuration migration tool. If you haven't heard of it, we'll talk about it now, although we will not cover in too much detail. To use it, we have to download the Dynamics 365 SDK. Just Bing Dynamics 365 SDK PowerShell, and you will be able to get to a Microsoft documentation that contains a PowerShell script. You pretty much open PowerShell, navigate to the folder you'd like to install it, and copy and paste the PowerShell script. Once it downloads, you will get a couple tools from the SDK in your folder. We'll use the configuration migration tool. Just before we continue with the configuration migration tool, let's quickly jump to our dev environment and create one account record. We'll also copy the GUID of the record. Great. Now back to the configuration migration tool, let's create a schema file that will get only the single account record we've created in our dev environment. Select create a schema, log into Office 365 displaying all available organizations and showing advanced. Make sure you include the username and password of a system administrator. In our scenario, dev is where we're going to extract the data from. So let's add our account entity and choose account ID and account name fields to move from one environment to the other. All other fields will be ignored. If we save the schema just like this, every single account record will be actually exported. We don't want that. We want just the account field that we created. For that, we need to create a filter. The filter needs to be inside of the filter tag in the fetch XML. The way that we like to generate this the most is by using a tool called XRM Toolbox. That's another very nice tool for you to get to know of, in case you don't know about it yet. There is a very nice tool called SQL for CDS, and it was developed by Mark Carrington. Mark Carrington is the man when it comes to extracting data from Dataverse. His contributions for Dynamics 365 community is stunning. Mark, you deserve a raise. This amazing tool allows you to run SQL queries in Dataverse. It's just freaking awesome. Let's try select star from account where the account ID is the ID of the record that we created. When you run, it brings the record we created and you can scroll through all the values. Nice. How do we get the fetch XML from here? You just click this button and double click the fetch XML query. The only thing we need from here is the filter criteria. So let's copy just that. Coming back to our configuration migration filter, let's save and save. By default, the configuration migration tool will ask if we want to export the data. This is usually the case when we don't have a pipeline, but for now, we're just not going to do it. Nice. The configuration migration now created a schema file. It contains the instructions to tell our build pipeline what's the schema to extract the data we want in the repository. Let's just check our file. And now let's upload to our schemas folder in our repository. Now we're ready to run our pipeline. We're not going to do export solution this time. Instead, we'll export data. And the XML schema name will be the core data schema that we uploaded to the repository. Now let's take a look at our repository. Oh, we got a core data schema folder under schemas now. Inside it, there is an extracted folder. And what is this? That's the account data that we exported. And it contains only one record with the same GUID from our dev environment and the same name. We successfully exported the data from our dev environment and stored in our repository. Of course, this is a simple example, but with the same approach, you can export any data you want. Now next, we're going to start talking about our release pipeline for solutions and data and check how to get those from our source control and deploy to our target environment. Let's just take a look at the code before we go to the release pipeline. Although we're gonna go very fast through the code, please feel free to take your time, pause the video and take a look at the code. Then scrolling down to the part that refers to data. If export data is equal true, then 
Start the stage export data and call the job with one step. Inside of the step, there is a loop for each schema file selected in the parameter. In our example, we used only core data schema, but if there was multiple, we could also do with it. And then it calls a template. Let's take a look at that file. So the file is waiting for a schema file name as a parameter. Then you run the very simple PowerShell just to check some variables, install the DevOps tools, export the data, extract the data, and commit the changes to the same branch it ran. So in this case, the data is being committed directly to develop. But if you wanted to do the same thing with the solutions and check out to a new branch and then a PR to develop, you could also do here as well. It's your call. We just wanted to show you both ways. And that's it, folks. That's our build pipeline for data. Music